hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today uh, the video is all about the big four companies like deloitte pwc kpmg and ey and the interview questions that they are asking for senior test automation engineer roles so i will be sharing the most asked questions along with the expert strategies to answer them effectively and make sure to watch till the end uh, because i have some bonus tips also uh, which can give you an edge over the other candidates so yeah let's dive in let's let's see what were the questions that were asked okay <clears throat> so the very first question is this explain about yourself your roles and responsibilities okay so in this question what you have to do you have to provide a brief introduction about your professional background whatever the work you are doing in your company your experience and your expertise expertise in the sense like skills okay then you have to highlight your role in the previous projects and in that you can include the responsibilities such as like uh, you did test automation you you know uh, build the test scripts test script development you were involved in that and the test case designs like this you can mention after that you can also mention something about your leadership qualities okay you can mention like you have you know uh, have two juniors under you like this it will show a leadership quality okay and you have collaborated with your you know colleagues with your teammates also it will show the collaboration skills that you have after that uh, you have to tell them like uh, you know uh, you have uh, collaborated in various tasks such as working with the de uh, development teams or or leading the testing efforts okay so like this you can briefly explain about yourself it will uh, you know showcase your uh, technical skills as well as your soft skills okay so like this you have to introduce yourself uh, yeah so the second question that was asked is you know write a java code to reverse the string okay so in this code uh, you have to write a code in which you have to reverse the string while preserving the white spaces so for that we have made a public class uh, reverse string and then we have write our main function that is public static void main uh, and inside that uh, we have used this uh, uh, you know uh, string input that is whatever our string is then uh, we are using this uh, you know uh, input dot split method which will split our string and then we are using the string builder here and then we will uh, you know apply a loop and in each word it will do that thing and in result we will insert this thing so like this you can do the uh, you know uh, code okay you can apply other methods also whatever you know uh, because i have just provided a code like this you can uh, proceed but you can use another code as well okay then the third question that was asked was uh, like a sql table is given and you have to find the second largest salary of an employee okay so here you can use like select max salary as second highest salary okay and then we will take from employee uh, from employee as a you know table and where salary is less than select max salary from the employee okay so it will give you automatically the second uh, highest salary okay the fourth question that is asked is also regarding the sql in which you have to explain the concept of joints and lists uh, the different type of joints available okay so basically joints are used to combine rows from two or more uh, table based on the related columns okay like we are having various type of joints like inner joint uh, left joint right joint full outer joint cross joint okay so you can explain these uh, joints in brief uh, you can read this thing like inner joint is used to return the records that have matching value in both tables while left joint is used to uh, return the records from the left table and match record from the right table and in right joint it is opposite to left joint then full outer joint and cross joint we are having okay what is linked hash map explain its uses so this is the question that is asked so you can answer like linked hash map is a hash table and linked list implementation of the map interface uh, which maintains the insertion order of the elements where we are using it basically it is used when we need to maintain the order of elements while also performing fast lookups 
it allows us to uh, you know access the elements in the order they were inserted okay the next question is explain black box testing and white box testing so this is a very basic question you can answer it easily like black box testing basically focus on you know testing the functionality of the application without knowing its internal structure or the code but in case of white box testing uh, basically it involves the internal working of an application we test the internal working of application including the codes conditions and the branches okay what is the difference between an exception and an error okay so exception is what it is an abnormal condition that occurs during program execution and can be handled by using you know try catch blocks okay this is the exception but if we talk about the error okay so error is a severe issue that usually cannot be handled by the program often resulting in the termination of the program even the failures okay example out of the memory error like this what is the difference between find element and find elements this is the very very popular question i don't think i need to explain this question everyone knows about it uh, but still i will give you just a you know overview find element return the value like return the first element okay that matches the locator but find elements what it do it returns a list of all the elements matching the locator okay then we have the difference between implicit and explicit weight again the very popular question so i will give you just brief thing about this implicit weight uh, you know it's a default waiting time uh, for the entire web driver instance okay and uh, uh, it wait for the elements to appear before throwing an exception okay but in the case of explicit weight it waits for the specific condition to be met okay before proceeding uh, for you know any other step so this is the basic difference you can learn more about these things uh, so that you can explain for you know longer time to these uh, questions uh, then selenium code to automate a calendar web element so for that uh, we what uh, we can use we can use this like uh, web element calendar equals to driver dot find element then by dot id and with which we have provided calendar that calendar dot click then we have to select the date so we will uh, you know go by the find element again and give the x path for that and date dot click like this we can write this is a very basic thing that you can do okay how would you fetch the text from our text box is a box in selenium okay so for that uh, we have the get attribute method okay in that we can provide the value and from there we can fetch it okay <coughs> how do you enter text in an alert using selenium okay uh, this question we have so the very basic method that we use is driver dot switch to dot alert okay and then we can do alert dot send keys and then we will give some text in that so like this we can give any text in the alert what is the difference between checked and unchecked exceptions okay so basically this is something new that like most of the people even don't know so checked ex exceptions are the exceptions that are checked at the compile time okay uh, like io exception sql exception the program must handle them using the try catch block or throw okay but in case of unchecked exceptions what we have unchecked exceptions are the exceptions that are checked at the run time like null pointer exception arithmetic exception these are the exceptions okay if an x path selects two elements on a web page does find element throw an exception okay so this is a tricky question where you need your practical knowledge <coughs> so the answer is yes find element will throw a no such element exception if the x path selects more than one element okay because it accepts only and only one element to be selected but if it in case it will be find elements then it won't show any exception okay so like this you can clarify the answer then we have explain smoke versus sanity this is a common question again so smoke testing is a you know preliminary test that is used to check the basic functionalities okay but sanity is something it is you know a focus testing to verify the specific functionalities uh, they are working fine or not after the changes or any bug fixes okay so this this is the major difference what are the relative locators in selenium basically uh, relative locators you know uh, what they do it allow locating elements in relation to the other element like locating an element that is above below to the right or to the left of an element so these are the relative locators 
then we have explain the challenges you faced in your project so in this what you have to provide you have to provide the answer on the basis of your experience okay so uh, you can give any example that you have encountered such as handling complex automation scripts overcoming test environment issues dealing with dynamic elements like this most of the time you have to you know uh, you can give answer like this like we were having some you know uh, dynamic element issue or even you can write uh, when i was trying to run each test case one by one it is running fine but when i'm running in parallel it was failing so like what you have implemented to solve this issue like these kind of challenges you can mention okay uh, then how you have solved that challenge and what you learned from it you can explain that thing okay the last question that was asked is how would you pick test cases for regression testing okay so it totally depends on you know project to project person to person okay uh, in this uh, but if I, uh, you know we are having a general approach what we do we select test cases that validate critical functionalities okay we find the areas of the application that have undergone recent changes okay in the, uh, like that test cases we put in the regression zones okay uh, the feature that are having high risk and frequently used features okay so we prioritize test cases that cover core business logics of the application and we run them as a regression suit so this is it for today i hope you got something knowledgeable from these uh, questions and uh, if you got anything uh, you know new from me uh, like you got some knowledge from this video just then hit like button and subscribe my channel and also share with your friends who are preparing for the interviews and yeah thank you so much bye bye